Tesla, all right, Tesla, I think this is one of the most commonly talked about stock. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Tesla. What is the outlook for Tesla in 2022, right? I mean, in 2021, uh, we've seen Tesla kind of like risen by more than 100% since the low we have touched somewhere in May 21 to more than 1,002, all right, just recently. And then we saw like it falling by more than 20%, all right? So it's been really volatile in 2021, but we saw some really huge gains, all right? So how does it look like for 2022? I mean, can the uptrend still continue? Are we still looking good? What does the fundamentals look like? This is what will be covered in this video. Video. Hey guys, Joby here, Top Tier Reminds you, Trader in Philip Securities. And in this video, right, we look through on Tesla stock and um, pretty much the technical analysis of what is Tesla doing, what are some of the key levels whereby you want to take note of, whereby we can see support coming back and where is some of the huge resistance level whereby selling is just coming back over the past two to three months and that's where you can also think about you know getting out or taking in uh, some profits or locking some profits as well right so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end if you are indeed holding on to tesla looking to get in looking to get out make sure you watch this video all the way to the end So this is Tesla trading at about $1,064. So before talking about where we are, uh, just let me share with you, I mean, a bit on Tesla for those of you who are new. It's one of those uh, electric vehicle plays. In fact, it's one of the leaders in the electric vehicle fields. All right, and, and very, very strong branding. Uh, I can't kind of like reported, I would say, um, record deliveries just a few weeks back in December, 2021. All right, so very, very strong numbers and the factories just opening up everywhere around the world. Very strong demand as well. And I would say this is one of the main plays in the EV sector. Uh, if you are going to the EV sector, I mean, it's one of the leaders. And also, um, currently, people are projecting that uh, in terms of the EV sales, you know, it only accounts for like 3 to 4% of the total sales in, in the US and many parts of the world, right? So this can potentially increase, and many of the world's uh, governments can move towards green energy and, and shifting towards electric vehicle. It can like account for maybe 20 to 30% of sales in the next 10, 20 years, right? So there's a lot of potential in the whole entire electric vehicle space, and Tesla is poised to kind of ride the uptrend, all right, to drive the whole uh, EV, um, you know, move, all right, whereby the world will be trans transitioning towards EV and not on, on, you know, petroleum cars and diesel cars. I would say EV would be the way to go, right? So Tesla is definitely one of the place in that sense, all right. So let's take a look at the technical part of Tesla. So I've covered Tesla many times over the past few months, and let me just go ahead to, uh, you know, talk about this stock Tesla. So you can see that, you know, over the past uh, one year in 2021, all right, this is where we were covering, I think, somewhere around here. And it was actually kept below this really critical sub resistance, right, at about the $800 level. So it's actually like moving slowly upwards, you know, from, from like six, seven hundred, moving gently upwards. And there were some signs of the uptrend starting to happen right around here. Again, you know, it was consolidating, all right, somewhere in like June, July 2021, sideways. And then you can see the moving averages all started to turn up right here. You can see the green starting point up, the red all pointing up, the blue is up as well. So longer term trend was looking quite good but i would say that the move really started right around here when we broke you know in october this 800 dollars level and a week later we broke the 900 resistance level as well right this was pretty much um, where we were in 2021 january i mean we broke that um you know 900 level you see that the uptrend really started there's a lot of momentum and it kind of like pushed from 800 to 900 900 all the way to like 1002 in a couple of like two to three weeks like more than 50 percent upside all right so that was pretty much what has happened over the past three months all right and you know, since like um, you know November, when it come like hit hit a high of thousand two, we started to see some profit taking, and we are pretty much kept at this resistance at that one thousand two hundred level. Look at this right here. So thousand two, take it, take, write it down. Right, thousand two. I would say would be the immediate firm. All right, resistance for now. I say firm because you can see that we have touched it about three times. About three times. Look at this. In fact, about four times. We have kind of like touched it somewhere around here. We traded below, all right, and you can see we rebounded here. This is quite a bearish candle. You can see sellers kind of coming back uh, to push prices back down somewhere in uh, November. I think there were some talks about interest rate hikes and all that. All right, so many of those tech stocks sold off as well. So we kind of like got a bearish candle right here, right at the top at that one thousand two. 
100 level, right? And you can see they started to push down. We kind of broke the low of this candle, and you can see the retracement really started to happen down, 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 and it went to somewhere around the 900, right? So that was pretty much the first time you can see rebounded a bit, came down, and you know just about last week as well, right? Same thing. We kind of headed towards the thousand two, and sellers came back to push it back down. Another bearish candle, right? You can see it come like opened higher all right and actually went up and tried to attempt to break that thousand two but unfortunately you no know, sellers came back and pushed it all the way down 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 and kind of close somewhere at the low as well so this is quite a bearish candle you can see a bullish one and a bearish one and the next day started to see the retracement back down all right so thousand two would be what we call a very very firm uh, resistance level i think if you're holding on to it uh, that's where you can potentially think about you know kind of like locking in some profits all right maybe just taking partial profits if you want as well maybe wait for a pullback to think about getting in again if it does hit to this level right so this is what we call a sell zone or what we call a resistance zone as well in fact i can just draw it for you right here so this is what we call a selling zone right here whereby sellers are coming up so you can potentially think about you know just locking in some profits near here as well near the thousand two maybe you know at one one uh five zero one one seven zero one one eight zero you know somewhere around thousand two i think that's where selling can actually come back again all right so let's take a look at where we are right now and if the uptrend is still intact right so i talk about this 900 hundred dollars resistance level look at this right this 900 as i mentioned you know just about a year back right so now it's like january 2022 right but just about a year back in january 2021 we will right here right so this is pretty much where we were here in january 2021 all right and that was like the resistance level that has shown all right and this resistance at 900 would be now the support level look at this right here 900 you see it was resistance turn support level right so i was expecting a little bit of support at 1000 which is like a psychological level but i would say 900 would be a really firm support level so yeah true enough become like sort of right due to the tech sector uh sell down somewhere in december all right sort of sort of sort of and this was where we were all right and we kind of like hit it to this 900 resistance turn support and we saw some buying pressure coming back right here so that's the first thing right it was a good support level they have shown resistance turn support and also this is where the 100 days moving average line is as well this is the red line which is the 100 days moving average is pointing up so i would say that the longer term trend the mid to long term trend looks quite okay still and look at this this is the blue line the 200 days moving average is pointing up as well so right above the blue the mid to long term trend looks quite okay especially just above the nine hundred dollars level whereby we have rebounded right so yeah we can rebound it you can see we went up all the way from 900 back to that thousand two all right and yes selling came back as i mentioned just now right selling came back and we are down 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 and this is where we are right now at about the thousand level and it seems like the one thousand level is where some bargain hunting is coming back again okay, so yes one thousand we have managed to help above i mean to hold above that one thousand i would say somewhere in november december we held above for a while but we broke and then we went to 900 so 1000 would be some what we call a psychological support level it's still quite okay you can see uh, over the past two days we saw quite a good uh, bullish candle right here you can see went down a little bit bias came up and pushed it back up and we are like 1064 so i think if we near that 1000 it could be a really good um, entry as well all right and uh you know this 900 i would say would be a much thermal support right 900 to maybe 950 you can see right in this range i would say that if we do head to the 900 that's where some good bargain hunting can come back again but the thing is we don't know whether uh it will hit to 900 you know for us to buy again right seems like 1000 is where buyers are starting to come out already right but yeah that would be the range right 900 to 1000 anything in this range right here which is also where the 100 days moving average line is as i talk about where i rebounded from anything in this range i think that could be a good level to catch the rebound all the way back up to that 1200 right so that is tesla i think it's still one of those really good stocks uh, to look forward to i mean for more upside in 2022 you know we have seen quite a good run in 2021 you can see this was the low in may all the way up to a high of like thousand two i was more than 100 percent all right in a matter of like you know six to seven months and now we are seeing some consolidation so it could still be a really really good you know move to the upside all right as it consolidates and you know i mean this is where we are right now right you can actually consolidate and if it breaks that thousand two you can see that you know targets can actually be uh revised higher right from thousand two to thousand four thousand six 
that is pretty much the upside for Tesla because we are it's a huge play on the entire EV sector. We're still too early to say, I mean, in terms of how huge, all right? And I think we are pretty much going in that direction, all right? And the sales are just coming in, very, very strong demand for EV uh, vehicles as well. All right, so this is Tesla right here. I hope you now have a clearer picture of where we are and some of the good potential entry levels whereby you can think about getting in and also some of the key selling zones right the selling zones whereby you can also think about taking some profits and getting out first so yes guys there we have it i hope you now have a clearer picture of what is tesla stock doing right stock code tsla right one of the most commonly uh talk about stock or most commonly asked stock in the u.s market so i hope you have a clearer picture of where are some of the key levels to take note of and what is the outlook for 2022 i would say that it's still quite bullish the uptrend really looks intact and in fact this is one of my top stocks uh that I'm still holding on all right i mean maybe maybe thinking about you know getting out with does hit certain levels waiting for a pullback to get in again but definitely one of those stocks whereby i'm always thinking about loading up more all right to further ride the uptrend right so let me know what is your what are your thoughts on tesla let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on tesla all right and of course uh, give me a like if you have found this video useful or right? give me a like it will definitely help out the channel it will definitely help out the algorithm as well thank you so much and of course smash the subscribe button if you have not yet done so so that you will not miss out on any videos like this right so joey here thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video